Hey, what's up? I'm Steve Eckert, United States Marine, entrepreneur and instructor for the project. Welcome to the MDK Wives Show. This is where I interview wives of previous graduates to the project 75 hour men's personal development program for men who are looking to level up in business and life to become even better husbands, fathers, entrepreneurs, leaders, and men. Today, I have a special guest. It is a the wife of Project graduate, Abe Aboud. Danica, thank you for joining me today on the show. Hi, Steve. Thanks for having me. Awesome. It's great to finally meet you. We've, we've gone back and forth and talked back and forth about other times, but it's actually the first time we're meeting, so awesome to meet you. Yeah, awesome to meet you. So let's let's get right into it. I, I love hearing the stories. Like I interview the graduates when they come into town all the time about their experience, and it's it's stuff I already know. So I actually enjoy these these interviews with the wives even more because I get to hear the behind the scenes. I get to hear the truth, the real dirt, what was really going on. You know, we hear all the macho bullshit from the men. I want to hear the, the what was really happening throughout all this. So that's what this is about. So tell me, how did you first hear about the project? How did both of you and Abe both come about it? Did he present it to you? Did you hear about it first? How did this work out? Uh, yeah, he presented it to me. Um, at first, he just sent me a link of one of the videos of people going through it. And I was what is this craziness? Why are you sending this to me? And he said, I think I want to do this. You know, and he kind of explained to me just a little bit about what it was. And, and that was about it. He knows me he just has to kind of leave little nuggets for me. And then he just kept sending me information periodically. And then we were actually on vacation. Um, and he just kind of kept talking about it, mentioned it to our friends. And um, during the drive home, I said, I really think that you should do this. Like, I can see the spark in your eye. There's something there. And he said, I know I really want to do it. And he talked a lot to Matt about it. And, you know, it was a big financial investment. Um, and so I think that kind of held him back a little bit, just not wanting to feel like he was taking from the family. Um, but while we were on vacation, he just said, okay, let's do it. And so, um, yeah, that was kind of it. He didn't have to really convince me too much. <laughs> Awesome. So other than seeing the, the crazy videos and stuff, what were what other thoughts were you thinking about the, the program, your initial thoughts or concerns or whatever when he first presented it to you? Um, my first concern was just I saw what, you know, what the videos show of this like really intense, just getting the crap beat out of them, it looks like. And so I was just nervous about that. Like, oh my gosh, why would you ever want to do something like that? Um, but when he really explained it to me and and made me realize you know, it's a lot of growth. It's not just like going and get put in your body and your mental state, you know, through hell for 72, 75 hours. Mm -hmm. um, it was just, he really explained like the growth and the development and what, what he was gaining from it. Um, and so he was feeling really restless, um, just kind of looking for some direction and not knowing exactly what, what he was, his purpose was, I guess. Um, and mm -hmm. so I thought this would be a really good, um, avenue for him to really do some self-discovery awesome awesome and then after you kind of got past the initial like almost shock of seeing the, the crazy stuff that's going on in the videos when you thought about it and realized right this is more than just like a fitness boot camp for men this is more than just some military like fitness challenge or mud run or something like that. there's a there's a deeper level to this like as you know our our four pillars are the family fitness finances and faith faith like self-confidence belief in yourself so what areas, either those areas or other areas in life, once you realized there was a lot more, a lot more depth to this program, what areas did you think, you know what, uh, this is what I think he really needs out of it. Whether you might've communicated to him or not, like things you started thinking in your head, like you hoped he was gonna get out of it. What were some of those things? Um, I think the big one was faith in himself. Um, Abe really questions, I mean, he's really good at what he does. He's a great leader. Um, but he really second guesses himself and questions if he really knows what he's doing and just doesn't have that confidence. And so that was something that I really wanted him to have a breakthrough in of just, just realizing that he is a badass and he, he can have confidence in himself. Um, and then the second kind of backup was just family. Uh, he works a ton and doesn't, um, both of us are kind of guilty of not having as good of a work-life balance. Mm -hmm. um, and so now that the kids are getting a little older, I thought that was important to really kind of hone in on how to plug into the family unit a little bit better. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, 
So now we got kind of got over the hurdle of the shock of it. We figured out how we're going to make it happen with the cost because you, you realize it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth the investment for your family's future and for him to get the confidence. So now he's actually signed up and registered, has a little ways to go before it. What was that build up like leading up to that the start of class before he actually left for California? Um, the initial was like panic because he signed up. He had uh, 12, like 12 weeks until he left and he wasn't in super great um, physical shape. I mean, he's always he's always in OK shape, but he wasn't in what he felt the level he needed to be at. So mm. um, and we were coming off of a like 10 day vacation where we had all the food and drinks. And uh, so it was kind of panic at first we got home and like he really got to work. But once he kind of settled into his routine of when he was going to get the workouts in and and his nutrition really dialed in, um, it was great. It was just it actually kind of inspired me to get back into, um, you know, my fitness routine and, mm -hmm. and start making those healthy changes. That's awesome. So, so he already technically started experiencing the project. Like once he made the commitment, there was 12 weeks. So he started really developing and had the effect from the project long before the, the, he actually showed up to California for the 75 hours. So it was a, a, a longer impact ahead of time. Absolutely. Yeah. That physical change comes pretty quickly because, you know, they have to be prepared for it. So that physical change is the first thing that I really saw. That's awesome. And then it even influenced you to start, you know, stepping up your game a little bit. So that was, he, he, he was it was infectious that that commitment he made and those months and weeks that he had to get his shit together kind of seems like it was infectious to you and, and people around him at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Even our son Miller, he's six and he saw, you know, dad was doing all these workouts and he would ask dad, can I go with you? So he would ride his bike along while Abe would be running. And then um, they would do burpees together or push-ups together. And so it even inspired Miller um, to start wanting to have some, some sort of workouts, you know? So that, yeah, was yeah, that, that is awesome. That's like what it's all about right there. That right there, just, just that leading up to it almost makes it worth the investment, just that alone, before he even showed up, it sounds like that the bringing your family even closer together, getting healthier, getting, you know, more bonding, the son looking up to him even more, like, you know, seeing what he's doing and want to be like him. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So what, what were the final days like leading before he left those last couple of days? How, how was that going on? Um, You know, it was really peaceful right before he left. Um, It kind of sounds weird, I think, but, um, you know, he he was working out so hard and pushing his body so hard. And then about four days before he stopped because he wanted his body to have some time to recover. So he was still going on walks and staying active, but he wasn't training and pushing as hard as he was. Um, so there was just a lot of time to just kind of talk about how he was feeling and you know, what, what he was nervous about and whatnot. So it was just kind of peaceful and just preparing. Um, we were all sad that he was going to be gone for a week. So, um, it was just nice to kind of spend some time with him and, and kind of let him rest. The calm, the calm before the storm, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. That's, That's cool. <laughs> So now he's, while he's gone, what was it like for you while he's away for those few days? You know, it's a four day program pretty much. You got to get there a day before, a day after. So it was almost pretty much a week. So what was it yeah. like for you while he was, while he was gone? Um, the first day was kind of nerve wracking um, because I knew like he was just sitting around waiting, right. To, to get going. Um, and then once it started, I started seeing uh, little snippets on Instagram, like your Instagram stories. And I figured out who the instructors were and I started following all of them and watching for the back of his head in places. So it was kind of chaotic during the actual project um, to see, cause I knew I wasn't gonna hear from him. Mm -hmm. um, and so, well, I figured I better not hear from him because if I heard from him, that was a bad sign. So yeah. um, it was just kind of fun. We had all of our family was following all of you guys and they'd say, oh my gosh, I just saw Steve's story. Abe's still there. We're so excited. And um, so that was- You really see just fun. a piece of his elbow and know that he's still there. Yeah, I know that elbow anywhere. Yeah. It's funny. I cut his hair before he went and I kind of messed up his hairline. It was kind of crooked. And so when I'd see the back of their heads, I'd be like, I recognize that hairline. He's still there. Yes. <laughs> so you, you spotted him based on the haircut that you screwed up before you left. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty cool. All right. So obviously he makes it through the project. What was the first time that he contacted you after he graduated? Um, he called me right when he got back to the room. Um, and 
he just sounded, he didn't sound as tired as I thought he would. He sounded really pumped up and excited and he was kind of rushed because they were getting ready. Um, you know, had to shower and get ready to go to dinner and stuff. Um, and I, of course I'm emotional all the time. So I just broke down and the kids started screaming. We, it was just a celebration here. Um, and so, yeah, it was pretty, pretty quickly afterwards. That's awesome. What was that like when he called you and, and told you that you said you yeah, had a little emotional, but what was really going through your head? What was he t- telling you? What was the, what was the conversation about? You know, it was just like, I just kind of like, I knew you could do it. You know, we're so proud of you. And you know, how was it? I was ready to start getting all the details. Um, and he was just like, it was incredible. I don't know. And I said, would you do it again? And he said, hundred percent, like right, even right then, as soon as he was done, he would, he would have gone back into it. He would just felt so, um, I think empowered and just, you know, the pride that he felt that he, he put his mind to something he trained and he did it. And so, um, I think he was feeling really, really proud of himself. And we obviously were, we were all really proud. That's awesome. That's awesome. So he, so he graduates, he goes to the dinner, he calls you. Now he shows up right at home. Like day one, what was the immediate, whether, I don't know, things you noticed, the changes, the, the transformation, because there's always a, a, some immediate changes, something uh, that you noticed. What was, what was it like yeah. when he first showed up back home? Well, when I picked him up at the airport, first thing I noticed when he, was he had two black eyes. Um, and so I was like, oh my gosh, what did they do to you? And he kind of had this little limp going on. Um, and he just looked just haggard. He looked awful. Um, but he just was so excited. Like he just had this, this energy about him that even though he was bumped and bruised and in pain, um, he just had this energy. He was just so excited about life. Um, so that was really cool to see. And he had to rush home because it was Miller's birthday. So he had to rush home and all of our family was at the house to celebrate Miller's birthday party. (laughs) So he didn't get much time to rest. Yeah, that's awesome. Throw him right into a kid's birthday yeah. party. Come back from the project. That's <laughs> yeah, sure love that. <laughs> awesome. So then the next, like that day, the next day is, is it kind of sinks in. He gets home. What are some of the other types of changes you've just seen in him or noticed in him? What was it like, the immediate impact that you saw? Uh, just immediately, he just had this um, kind of confidence that, he, like I said, he just, he had put his mind to something he accomplished it and he was really ready to move forward in that growth. So um, he was really plugged into his personal development, um, really like getting up, getting to work early, making his checklists. Um, Abe had never really made checklists before. Um, so he was like making his checklist and getting stuff done um, in a really organized fashion, which wasn't really like him before he went. Awesome. And you kind of noticed that right off the bat, like pretty much yeah. soon after he came back. Yeah, he started, he has that journal. So he was kind of journaling in that and um, just really focused. That's awesome. And so now it's about six months since he graduated. What what other changes, improvements, impact has it had on both your family, your relationships, your business? How, how has that been since in these past six months? What are some of the, the more bigger impacts that's had over time? So he's, um, family-wise, I mean, that was the, one of the most important things to me. And as soon as he came back, we implemented weekly family night. So uh, we pick kids up, we come home and do homework, and then we go um, either bowling or go to a movie or just even if we just go for a walk or something, um, we've implemented that, which has been awesome. The kids are just loving having that time Mm -hmm. where we put our phones to the side and we're just really focused on the kids. Um, We've all loved that. We all look forward to it. We usually try to like Monday or Tuesday night. And if we get to Wednesday, everyone is like, when is family night going to happen? Um, so that's been awesome. And just his parenting style, um, has shifted a lot. He's really, um, tries to teach, you know, more of why we do things or Mm -hmm. really just to motivate them in more of a positive way, which has been awesome. Um, his leadership skills, um, have improved just, I think watching the way that you guys motivate and lead and having that brotherhood that he can plug into and, and have questions, um, about situations and whatnot. Um, He's really, really grown as a leader even more. That's awesome. How about on the business side? I know you guys run a couple of different different types of businesses. How is his, the changes in hand, the change in leadership, how has it impacted the businesses or even the finances? How has that been in these last six months? Uh, yeah, it's been great. We actually opened the gym one week before he left to the project. So that was really interesting timing. Um, but he's been great. He's really, um, he's 
good at delegating um, to, you know, letting our gym, like the, our coaches know how to coach. And so he's great at um, giving them that guidance and letting them do it. Um, and so he's been great with the gym, um, getting that running. I know at work, he's been doing really well, um, looking for ways to, to improve himself, improve the business and um, business has been great. Yeah. That's and our finances. Cool. Yeah. I mean, starting a new business is always really scary, but, um, but yeah, it's been going really well and all that's pretty much on track so far. So you're some of you opened up a gym a week before he left a week for it. And he spent, you know, it cost $12,000 to go to the project. So he yeah. paid for that as you're opening up a business, a gym on top of that, which is a hard enough business as it is during a time when the world is like all crazy and gyms are, are hard enough to do. And now six months later, you're still rocking and rolling and still just on the, you know, swing upswing. Is that kind of where it, how it's going? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's still, there's always growth to be had, you know, with, with, especially with the gym or brand new business. Um, but the growth in it has just been incredible. We've, we've really, um, been able to see significant gains and Abe's been right there kind of leading the way of ideas to get more members. And so we're really close to what our six month goal is. So. That's awesome. That's yeah. freaking cool to hear. So where do you see now in the future, you know, based on his continued growth and the way that's impacting your family. And now you, it's even, you know, your whole family is growing together. He's taking you all along for the ride, which is freaking awesome. And, you know, with the, the family night right there, that alone, again, makes it worth it. Just that alone, like hearing that stuff is what it's all about. Sure. The business is doing good, making some money, but when everyone's excited to just hang out, connect and spend time together, like what more impact could you want than that? That's freaking awesome. So where do you see the future for your family, for the businesses based on the changes that he's had and the continual changes that you're seeing in him since the project? So where do you see the future of all that? You know, I'm just really excited to see um, continued growth um, in him, uh, the, the desire for more and the, you know, the drive to really take everything to the next level, no matter what he's doing. Um, so he's always, his wheels are always turning about what's our next move. What are we going to do? And so we're kind of getting into that phase right now with the gym's doing well, we're, you know, we're definitely getting to that point where it's sustaining itself. And so, um, seeing his wheels start turning of what's next has been really fun. Um, because it is a different, I feel like he's going at it in a little bit different way this time. Um, more that focus and, um, kind of organized dry rather than just like kind of scattered and throwing stuff, mm -hmm. seeing what will stick. Um, so I'm just excited to see kind of that growth and, and how it continues, um, to affect him and everyone around him. Really. He's been really inspiring to, um, a lot of people in our network. That's awesome. And, and yeah, like the organizational skills, I'm sure you probably helped him on it some too, was that that 24 hour push up challenge that we did. I just told him some idea of something I was just winging together just on the side and he turned it into an actual event with, you know, sponsors pretty much and, and raising money and, and donations. And he sat there in the gym for 24 hours straight. Right. And just did push ups till his elbows popped out of the bone. Almost. It sounds like. Yeah, literally they were, <laughs> he was in so much pain by the end, but, but yeah, it's, it's been cool to see um, him want to take things a little bit further, you know, not just, not just skating by like, Oh, this is the requirement or, you know, when you said, let's do this push up challenge, we could have just stayed home and done push-ups, um, but he really wanted to raise more money and do more and really make it, like you said, make it an event. So um, yeah, that was really fun. We're looking forward to another one for sure. Awesome. Awesome. And, and choosing the hard stuff, making things harder, choosing the challenging things, not getting caught in a complacent comfort zone, like where, where it's not going to lead you to any growth. That's Freaking yeah. cool. It's cool. It's cool to see. And he told me about a story about some people that came by and visited the gym, how it was inspiring other people in the area when he was doing that challenge. Like that's what it's all about. That's, that's so yeah. freaking cool. Yeah. That lady, she showed up with, she woke her children up. They were like, I think they're maybe like eight and 10, um, woke her children up out of bed at three o'clock in the morning and drove them to the gym and said, this is what it looks like to have a goal. You know, this, this man that we don't know set this goal. He wants to do 24 hours worth of pushups and it's ugly. Look at him. He's three o'clock in the morning. He's got, you know, he had the tape on yeah. and the elbow braces. And so that was really cool. I think that that stuck with him the most of inspiring people. That's so, that's freaking awesome. That's so cool. So to, to kind of wrap things up, what would you say to someone in your position? Like you're, 
I'll tell you what, you guys have some guts to even for him to even pursue something like the project when it does cost what it costs, right? When you're opening up a business and again, in the fitness industry. So what would you say to someone in your same position that maybe is new in the business or, or maybe just had a baby or has a growing family? Maybe they're struggling in their relationship and their husband comes to them and presents them with these crazy videos of these men doing all kinds of wacky things and it costs, <laughs> you know, costs thousands of dollars. What would you say to someone in that position that's having hesitation or not really being as supportive as maybe they, they could be? What would you say to them in that position? Um, I would just say that, yes, it is a sacrifice. Um, you know, we, we were, like you said, opening a gym, he was missing our son's birthday, which to a six-year-old, that's a big deal. Dad's not going to be there for my birthday. Um, we had a lot going on and the financial, um, aspect was tough, but have faith in your man, have faith, whether he's your husband or boyfriend, whatever he is, have faith in him that this is going to take him to the next level, which in turn is going to take your family to the next level. Um, and just know that uh, it will, the money, I mean, we would pay 10 times more than that for the change that we've seen. So just have faith in the process. That's awesome. I love you just said, have faith in your man. Like that right there should be the title of this episode, have faith in your man, because I think it's <laughs> lacking sometimes. So I think this, this is going to be huge for men and women out there just to kind of hear it coming from you, some of the things you have to had to share. So that was, it was, is awesome for them to hear. And it's going to, even for people, if they're not going to sign up for the project that just watch this on the internet or whatever is going to be impacted by it. So I want to thank you again, Danica, for joining us on the MVK live show. You are freaking awesome. I appreciate you taking the time out of the day to join us. Absolutely. Thanks, Steve. Awesome. So Listen, uh, the viewers out there, if you have a, a man or you yourself, you know after watching this that you are meant for more, you're capable of more, you have much higher potential, and you've just been kind of skating through in the comfort zone, and you need to be pushed to that next level, just like, comment, subscribe to this channel, send me a private message, we will jump on the phone and schedule an interview call to see if you have what it takes to join the ranks of the Modern Day Night Project Brotherhood. I will talk to you later. Thanks again, Danica. You are freaking awesome and no excuses. Thanks. See ya.